Well, I knew this was coming. As Shannon Sharp had his explosive interview with Cat Williams on Club Shay Shay, the haters will come from crawling from under the rocks. They come pick their heads out of the sewer holes. They come from everywhere. You know, and this time is Steven Jackson. You know, him and Matt Barnes with the, um, uh, uh, was it, All the Smoke podcast. You know, he, he comes on there and he's basically critiquing the interview, saying what he wouldn't have did, what Shannon should have did. You know, just typical Negro stuff. Stuff that we actually do to each other all the time. You know, let's let, let's check out what he said on his Instagram live um, in reference to Shannon Sharp in that interview. We'll come right back. Talk about I got a couple things I want to say about the uh, Shannon uh, Sharp Cat Williams interview. I look I look at that whole interview differently, bro. I look at it different. I look at it different. Considering, you know, what I'm saying we have one of the biggest shows. And we've had guests that a lot of people can't get. We look at this, we look at that interview a little different. Much love to all y'all. I got something, to, I got, I wanna, I just got a few things I wanna say about that. And it has nothing to do with if Cat was telling the truth or not. Cat is my homeboy. Cat is me and Matt homeboy. That's our homeboy. We didn't, we went on movie sets with Cat. Hung with Cat. Cat is not lying. He don't roll a blunt. I sat on this bus with him for a couple hours. That did not roll one blunt. He had a chick rolling all his. He is not lying about that. He is not lying about none of that. He's not lying. He had somebody rolling and all that. And if y'all if y'all do remember, just put a five up. Just put a five up or the or the hand five sign. Do y'all remember the video we had with um, Terrell Owens? Do y'all remember that interview? Talking about real all the smoke fans. Y'all remember that interview? Okay. Bet, bet, bet. So y'all remember that interview? So y'all remember how hard he was going on Stephen A. Smith, right? Y'all remember how hard he was going on Stephen A. Smith, right? Hard, no freaky. But as you see during the show, when he was talking about Stephen A. and saying the things about Stephen A., me and Matt was making sure that we let him know, Tio, you our boy, but we with Stephen A too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You can say what you want to say about him, but we kept pulling him back. You know what I'm saying? Because we with Stephen A. So we kept pulling him back to like, okay, yeah, we feel you, but you know what I'm saying? Try to make, we just didn't let him go in on the man because we got a relationship with him. And on all the smoke, we don't want, as much as we love Cat, we love to have Cat Williams on the show, but we wouldn't want no show like that because we got relationships with our guests. And we ain't cloud chasing. If y'all notice, we ain't doing no clown on our show. We ain't doing no dumb dancing around, doing no clown. We ain't uh, doing corny people. Like we ain't we ain't cloud chasing. We ain't bringing people on to demean people. We ain't doing none of that because we got relationships with our guests. And y'all wonder why we get the guests we get because we not we not doing clicks. One, we a fan of the people we bring on our show, and two, we try to give them their flowers. Now you can't control what your guests say, but as as an interviewer, you have to know how how to pull back. Because if you're willing to just let somebody come on your show and disrespect everybody without pulling back at all, that shows that you just like Noriega when Noriega had uh, Kanye on his show. You know that they're gonna say something crazy, but you still let them go on and not pulling them back because you want the clicks and you don't care about your guests. See, we have a relationship with all our guests. You know what I'm saying? And, and we wouldn't we wouldn't want that type of we wouldn't want that type of interview because we care about you know what I'm saying like so we have a relationship but Shannon, that goes so Shannon has no relationship with his guests no relationship because he didn't take up for now one of them you know what I'm saying and to be honest I'm not surprised I'm not surprised to be honest because Loki hated on us my people never lie to me it's people that I love that I talk to every day that's in these in these in these offices. The Hated on me, he tried to hate on me and Matt with our DraftKings deal. He tried to hate on Wayne, he tried to hate on Prime. That's just the truth, bro. But that, but the show goes to show. You might be from the country, but that don't mean you're from the hood. Because if you're from the hood and you f with people and you got somebody that's talking about people you f with in front of you, you pull back. You don't condone. You don't let them go off. If somebody around me talking about Matt, I'm gonna be like, hold on, bro. You talk about Matt around somebody else, but not about me. And that's not true because that's my boy. And I'm not finna condone it. That's my people. If I f with you, I'm not finna let nobody talk about you in front of me like that, dog. I'm just saying, you don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that. 
But that, it goes to show he don't have no relationship with his guests. You know what I'm saying? It, it, cloud chasing is easy, bro. To get clicks is easy. We can easily have somebody come on our show and get clicks. But when but when you got some type of respect for your guests, you gotta you gotta pull some, you gotta pull back. You can't just let people go crazy like that, dog. You can't. Because them same people took time to come on your show, bro. They took time to come on your show and do the interview to make your show look good. You gotta protect them people in some kind of way, dog. You can't do that. You can't do that. Everybody got their opinion on the interview. That's my opinion. A lot of people got an interview that ain't got no shows that don't interviews. My opinion is, I feel like if he had a relationship with some of his guests, he should have pulled some of that back. He should have, because look, you can make it without cloud chasing. You can make it without bringing somebody on your show to say crazy shit. Like, you, you don't have to do that to be successful, bro. You don't. You don't have to do that to be successful. And we showing y'all, dog. We showing y'all. We don't do none of that clown we just signed a multi-million dollar deal for our own production company. We passed just doing the podcast, bro. We passed that. It's because we, we doing it with integrity, dog. We doing it with integrity. It's easy to get somebody on your show that you know going to talk about people, dog. But don't y'all know it's been people that's, that, that, that done said about people on their show, on our show, and we didn't, and we didn't air it because it just didn't look right. I love I love the fact that Cat Williams speaking his mind. Everybody should speak their mind at all times. Cat is my partner. I love Cat. There's nothing I can say bad about Cat. Now, in my opinion, this is clearly hate because I have an 18th degree in uh, Negroism. You know, I have a uh, degree from Negro State University. I'm a professor emeritus in Negro stuff. So I I know I know um, when I see a brother hating. I mean, he he didn't have to say none of this. It's none of his business. He's saying this because he wants now, what he wants to do, he wants to get all the the, the, the people, the entertainers that will be in opposition to, a shit, to, shit, to that interview to come on to his show now. That's what he wants to do. But this is the stuff that Negroes do. So the only way to do that is to go, is to go live and, and be diametrically opposed to Shannon. Go against Shannon. He see the Shannon's video is approaching 50 million. Let me go against Shannon so now I can get the Kevin Hart to them to come on to my show. This is what we do to each other. This is what we do. He's like the guy, he's he's like the guy that snitched on Nat Turner. They got Nat Turner court. But let's listen to what Shannon Sharp had to say, and we'll come right back. And what's disappointing to me, but God, there are people that that do what you and I do. Yeah. That had so much to say. And and it's only because of jealousy. Because I guarantee you, if 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 Cat was on their podcast mm -hmm. and did exactly what he did on my podcast, right, they would have never said what they're saying. Mm. Oh, he let no. That was the decision that I had to make in a split second, Ocho. Right, right. And right. what I always try to do is not talk over the guests. They mm. come on. Okay, tell your side, tell your story, tell it right. without me interrupting. Mm -hmm. And then if there's a point that I think I need to add or I need to, uh, you know, refresh question. Yeah, okay, we'll go there. In there. But in that right. situation, Ocho, I've got to make a split second. I know I got card. Okay, I want to start at this place. But he said, I want to tell you why I came. Mm. You offer a safe place, a mm. safe space right, for people to say and to get things. Okay, fine. And then he went. Now, I, I'm teed up to ready to go in the direction that I think because at the end of the day, Ocho, mm -hmm. even though he went the, the direction that he went for 30 minutes, right? I still had to have structure. I right. still had to get the train back on the mm -hmm. track. Right. Even though I don't think he was off the track, mm -hmm. he wanted to get that off his chest. Right. Now he got that off his chest. Okay. Now let's get to where you come from. Mm -hmm. How did you come to be? How did mm -hmm. you leave Ohio? Why did you leave Ohio? How did you end up in Florida as a 13 year old with a Rottweiler puppy mm -hmm. in the back of an 18 wheeler? Right. How did that come about? What was the thought process? When did you know this was going to happen? Okay, what made you leave Florida and go to OKC, Oklahoma? But man, it's just everybody got something to say. Man, the, bro, that may, it's like everybody, but they never said anything. When mm -hmm. I let Steve say what he said, when right. I let said what he said, what he said, when mm -hmm. I've let everybody say what they said, mm -hmm. nobody said anything. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, because it goes viral, I guarantee yeah. you, Ocho, if this video had done 2.7 million views, nobody would have said a damn thing. No, not at all. Not at all. 
not at all. Because no, Steve I, Harvey, I, go ahead, go ahead, Ocho. They they just upset that I'm, I'm assuming you got you got the interview. I you did. Got, you got the interview. Um, I don't think there's a space or a person out there that I think he would have he would have felt comfortable with, where he would have been as open Thank and you. truthful. Right. With everybody is getting their info their tel- from their from their smartphone. They're uh-huh. watching on their phone. They're streaming right. their phone, iPads, computer, whatever. Mm-hmm. Two hours, 46 minutes, and five seconds. Think about that. Yeah. That's a cowboy game that yeah. 27 million people. Mm-hmm. There are some sporting events that don't get watched by 27 million. Mm-hmm. That's what you're mad about. You're not mad about I didn't cut this right. man off. You're yeah. not mad about that. Oh, mm-hmm. those are your boys and you let them talk about your boys. That's not what y'all mad about. That's not what you're mad about. Oh, yeah. you're not even a journalist. He could have got so much meat off the bone. You're not mad about that. Right. You're mad that 27 million people to the right now. Mm. My part, my subscribers on Club Shay Shay jumped up 500,000. Mm. That's what you mad about. You mad about now all of a sudden my IG. I'm over 3 million on that. That's what you mad about. The potential. Man, y'all know what's going to happen now? Man, mm. somebody might come throw a boatload. Or unk might be. That's what you mad about. Yeah. But when you, when you was biting the apple, I never said anything negative about mm. y'all. I gave you, I gave you y'all credit. I never criticized anybody right. because I look the way I look at it, Ocho. Everything I saw my brother do, I said I can do it. Right. You know why? Because he lived in the same house I lived in. He mm-hmm. got rained on just like I did. He right. had to go outside to the woods to go to the bathroom just like I did. So hell, if he went to college, why can't I? If he yeah. go to the NFL, why can't I? Mm-hmm. So if I see you guys do something, you do it. You're damn right. I believe I can do it. Yeah. Hey, would you you want to you want to tell me who who has something to say so I can snap real quick? No, nah, you ain't got to snap on them, Ocho. Show because I I be, I be oh, ready too, because, man. But here, the, see, Ocho, just like everybody, like I said, everybody this and that. I don't know why he going to this. I'm going to ESPN because they reached out and said, you know what, we would love to have you a part of our network. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I only I can only judge a man through the experiences that I've had with said man. Mm. I can only judge an individual through the experience that I've experienced with mm-hmm. said individual. Yeah. How can I how can I judge Ocho if I've never been around Ocho? Man, Ocho, man, Ocho on that fuck stuff. That ain't what I that's not my experience with him. Right. So I'm sorry. That's your experience with him. Ocho, you know what I get asked a lot, and I know you get asked this also. Mm-hmm. Man, what's such and such like? I say I can only tell you what he's like with me. Yeah. So for me to be able to speak to tell you what he's gonna be like with you, that would be a lot. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know. Right. I can only speak to how he treats me mm-hmm. and how he's treated me or yeah. how she has treated me. So, but all this notion, y'all need to stop this. And you're going to catch, you know who I'm talking about. Oh, they know who I'm talking about. Oh, they do? Yes. Oh, well, let me look at the chat. But, I, and, but, 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 I, but, I, but that's what I, Chad, who I, we I talk don't... about chat? Oh, okay. I see it now. I see it now. I see it now. Okay. 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 But that's but that's what it's about. It's right. about 27. Right. I mean, they make it seem like I've never had, like Steve Harvey's almost at 10 million. You mm-hmm. almost at 6 million. Yeah. Coach <laughs> at 6 million. Uh, DC Young Flies at 4 million. Yeah. Uh, Sandy and the, I mean, I got not only do the whole episode, but I got breakout clips that's yeah. done a million views, that's done 2 million views, that's done 3 million views. They make it seem like I was peeling around. Oh, my pod can have forty five thousand views. Mm-hmm. No, you had, you I've had, had you... episode. I've had episodes that do three hundred thousand downloads. Yeah, man, y'all need. And you wonder why? You wonder why you only have limited success? You Ooh. think you have a success, but think about how much more success you could have Damn. if you got that envy, that jealousy, and that hate out your heart. But y'all yeah. quick, y'all write all these little catchy phrases on your little page, and mm-hmm. it's you. You write, you all you doing is writing a memoir to yourself. Come on, man. Come on, preacher. But you think you thought, hey, look at this. I got this out the mud. I came from the trenches, right. and you got more hate in your heart with all that you got that you've yeah. been blessed with so much, and all you do is hate on a man that mm-hmm. you think better. How about get better? Create better content. Mm. I'm gonna tell you this, and I'm gonna leave it alone, Ocho. Yes, sir. And this is for hey, everybody hey, that's listen. out there. You preach, you preach it right now. now Just because you're first to do something, that don't mean you're the best at it. Listen to me again, chat. 
Just because you're first, that doesn't mean you're the best. Because a lot of times people think, well, I was first. That don't mean you're the best. Come on now. So Roger Bannister was the first man to break the four-minute mile. Is he the best mile of all time? Absolutely not. Nope. Mm-mm. I like where you're going. So, if I'm not mistaken, Jim Hines was the best, was the first man to run a sub-10 uh, second, Yo, uh, 100 meters. Was he the up. best 100 meter of all time? No. So, just because you guys were the first or you right. were the part of the first to do it, go ahead, Ocho, that don't mean you're the best at it. So, I'm sorry, Chad, to get on my uh, 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 on my soapbox tonight, but sometimes I get frustrated when people, when some people, what they try to do, they smile and, hey, Hey, I'm all for you. I'm all about this. I'm all about that. And all the while, y'all mm-hmm. hate me. In closing, don't be a hater. If you a hater and you got hater in your heart, man, go somewhere and pray. Go somewhere and meditate or somewhere. But get that hate out your heart, man. Get that hate out. You're taking four or five years off your life just being a hater, man. Stop being a hater. I mean, yeah, I'm talking to you right there. Yeah, you. You just watching now. You. Yes. You. Stop hating. Get the hate out your heart, man. That's all I want to say, man. I'm going to cut this video short here, man, because I, I believe that the video is, is said everything it was supposed to say. Shannon uh, responded, and I don't always agree with Shannon. I don't agree with a lot of things that Shannon do, but when it comes to this interview and the Haiti getting, I, I know Negroes, and it's unnecessary. But leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to Street Media TV and get the hate out your goddamn heart. Peace.